We begin tonight with a story that would be stunning enough on its own. A major security breach by the Canada Revenue Agency, exposing dozens of prominent Canadians' names, addresses and personal financial information. But what makes it even more striking is how CBC News got the confidential tax information in the first place. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the details for us. Terry. Well, Peter, of course it is against the law for the Canada Revenue Agency to leak your tax details. But now, in response to a totally unrelated question, the agency has somehow hit the wrong button and sent the CBC a detailed list of wealthy Canadians who claim big tax deductions for donating art. Mr. Speaker, another day, another massive privacy breach at the Canada Revenue there Agency. Why are Conservatives failing to keep the private, confidential tax information of Canadians safe? The minister made no attempt to defend what happened. This privacy breach is extremely serious and completely unacceptable. I have instructed the CRA to investigate the situation and I can confirm the privacy commissioner has been notified. But it's already clear this was a blunder. The release of a full and unredacted list of prominent Canadians who claim tax deductions for giving artwork to galleries and museums. It's a who's who of notables, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, writer Margaret Atwood, entertainment figures like singer Gilles Vigneault and film director Denis Arcand, along with the former Olympics official Dick Pound and a former VP of the CBC, Richard Sturzberg. And you can see how much they all claimed and for what and how much the revenue agency allowed. Letting uh, confidential figures uh, slip that way is very sloppy. I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose. That means they have no security protocols in place that, that must prevent things like this from happening. It's completely unacceptable. There is nothing improper about any of the deductions. What is illegal is the CRA releasing the list, although the single biggest item is not a breach of privacy because it's long been public. It's the gift of this huge painting by the Flemish master Peter Paul Rubens to the Art Gallery of Ontario by the late publishing magnate Ken Thompson. Deduction claimed by his estate $255 million. CRA said no, but later allowed a measly $200 million instead. Other claims were just disallowed by the eagle-eyed auditors, but they weren't so eagle-eyed when they released the list to the CBC, which it turns out isn't that unusual. Last spring, the Federal Privacy Commissioner found that in just four months, there were 101 privacy breaches by the federal government, 14 of those by the Canada Revenue Agency. Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry Malefsky in Ottawa tonight.